Seven years ago, in response to some of the violence in our city and driven by Jeremiah 29, verse 7, to seek the shalom of the city, that word means peace with justice, and pray to the Lord on its behalf, we put a little booklet together called the Chicago Neighborhood Prayer Guide to invite the body of Christ to pray into the needs of our city. We called it Pray Chicago. Fifteen times we've met in those years, and it's grown to the point now it's Chicago land united in prayer. It's spilled over into the suburbs. And not only do we pray in these large gatherings, but there's a stirring toward extraordinary prayer. 24-7, 365. And you're going to hear more about that tonight. But also more praying, more doing. We've been challenged to get off our knees, so to speak, and get onto our feet for a greater holistic response to the needs of our city. And we're doing that in partnership with our friends and colleagues like my dear brother, Bishop Peacher, together, Chicago, and you're going to hear more about that right now. You know, prayer is an ultimate act of faith. But James said, faith without works is dead being alone. You've been praying for the violence in the city. Don't pray against the violence. Go make peace happen. You're praying for the educational system. Volunteer in the educational system. And together, Chicago can help you do that. We have initiatives in many areas that can help you get your church involved in some key areas to put feet to your prayers. And, and God will bless that. 